Oh hey, it's Wes. And today, a real quick video to talk about the Godox VD mic. As far as I know, their first mic system. And if I have to be perfectly honest, it's a little bit generic. But how does it hold up? How does it work? We're using it right now. It is on my camera, right here. It is about two and a half feet away from my face. I'm using a Sony A7S III to record this. And its built-in preamp is at nine which is where I had to get it to get it to a somewhat appropriate volume. Looks like I'm gonna have to bump it up a little bit in post as well though. And so it's not right on top of my face, but I'm shooting with a 24 millimeter lens, so I'm not too, too far away from it either. What do you get with it? As well as this tiny little mic, you also get a very substantial windsock and you get an additional stretchy cable, one that's attuned for mobile devices. So this is a TRRS and there's also the TRS that's attached to the camera right now. So right now, it's just the standard foamy that's on it. Let's take that off. And here's how we stay sound with the standard foamy taken off. How is that? Probably not any different. Let's put this big old windsock on. There we go. So now we have the huge windsock on. Does that sound any different? Let me know what you think. Overall, I have been using this for a little bit, mostly for live streaming, vlogging, and stuff like that. And I found that the audio is actually surprisingly good, surprisingly crisp. The space that I'm in right here is a little bit lively. Not a lot of sound dampening because I'm in a home. Let's switch back to the standard here. I found that it's a very nice sound, but the problem with this microphone is there is a fair amount of noise floor going on here. So you're going to hear a little bit of something in the background, if I'm real quiet here. Not too, too bad. Honestly, room ambience is going to be louder than this. And if you're doing stuff like live events and weddings and stuff like that, there's usually going to be so much going on that you won't hear the noise floor on that. I'm not saying it's perfect, but I'm saying it's not a huge issue. All right, let's see how this stacks up against let's say a wireless lav system, the usual Rode Wireless Go. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are with the Godox VD mic in a perfectly normal vlogging scenario. So the mic is just out of the frame. Well, it's just in the frame, but I want you to know where it is. And I am facing directly at it. There is other ambient noise inside my house. You can possibly hear it right now. There's a washing machine operating exactly behind the microphone. So let's use that to see what kind of directional coverage this microphone has, whether or not it's really narrowed down as a shotgun mic. What kind of noise isolation do we have on the base of the microphone? It has this shock absorber on it, but does that really work for us? And if we touch the wire, this isn't the wire that came with the mic. It came with a very short wire designed to mount right on your hot shoe. And so I have a much longer one here just to be able to get it out of the way here. One thing that I have noticed with this mic is that it is highly susceptible to wireless interference. And so if you have a smartphone and you're using it very close to the wire for the mic, you're going to end up getting some noise in that wire. Now, you might think, well, that's not a huge issue. Why would I have my phone, smartphone right next to the wire? If you're recording audio straight into your phone, you have to put it into airplane mode or it's not going to work out for you. You're going to get tick, 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 bop, 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 bop. So all that usual wireless interference sound. And here's what we sound like in the same situation with noise going on in the background using a Rode Wireless Go instead. And so you're getting some ambiance as well. There are people, there are children, there is still a washing machine. So again, we have the shotgun mic. And we have the lav mic. All right, let me know what you think about the difference. Let's keep on going here. I'm gonna back up a little bit here. So 
So I'm about three feet from the mic. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. About two feet away. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. And about one foot away again. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. All right, so that's not too bad at all. We've got some pretty solid build quality. This thing is made of metal. It seems like it would hold up pretty well. How does it compare on price? Well, this comes in at 60 bucks. Incidentally, that is the same price as the Rode Video Mic Compact, 60 bucks. And it comes in less than the Deity VMic D4, which is $90. So it's not exactly a slam dunk. You can get decent quality from the Rode Video Mic Ultra Compact for the same price. How does it hold up? Unfortunately, I don't have that Rode to compare it to. Maybe in a later video, I'll get that in. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Let me know what you think of this sound and what you think I should compare this to in the future. So until next time, let's go take some photos. Thank you.